Canal de English. I am Ellie Smith. Good evening and Merry Christmas to everybody, especially those who are in one form of difficulty to the other. The headline. Our main headlines tonight is on the celebration of Christmas around the country. How was it celebrated? You'll find out more in this newscast. That was our main headline. And now the news in greater details. Every December 25th, the birth of Jesus Christ is celebrated around Christendom. It is always a moment of joy and happiness as baby Jesus comes with messages, of, uh, with messages to improve our lifestyle. What message has baby Jesus Christ brought to us this year? Find out more with Carol, with Carol Kemaju. to celebrate this day, occasions for priests to caution Christians on some immoral attitudes that often exposes them to temptations. Here at the Etudi Parish in Yaoundé, Father Pascal called on parishioners to always respect the will of God, as respecting the word of God is receiving blessings from him. The gospel of the day taking technical fault, it does happen where we are in Christmas anyway. But then we are back here in Dwala. That was a situation to know what was to happen in Yawonde. The message that Father Christmas or Jesus Christ must have brought to us. We haven't had that, perhaps in the course of this news. We will be bringing you the message of Jesus Christ this year. As far as Dwala is concerned, the Archdiocese or the Archbishop of the Dwala Archdiocese. Samuel Cleder says Christians should focus on the needy and families of the needy, especially those in conflict-ridden areas. Samuel Cleder was speaking to thousands of Christians who stormed the St. Peter and Paul Cathedral who are here in Douala, December 25th, to pray and also to thank God. The Morin has more. The St. Peter and Paul Cathedral in Douala was full to capacity this December 25 with Christians chanting songs of joy to welcome the Son of God, Jesus Christ. We are celebrating the birth of Christ and since it is a big Christian feast, you know Jesus came as a human sent by God to take care of us. Christmas is about sharing. We should focus on sharing with the needy. Most Christians we talk to say Jesus has come to redeem mankind of their sins. The more reason why he should be welcome and in church. Christians to many it's time to have a flashback in their lives that is by identifying their problems and their relationship with their closest persons. We are celebrating following a Catholic tradition, the birth of Christ, that is the Son of God, came into this world. And what is good is that he came to live in us. During this period, we should think about all those who are suffering today, families in pains, families divided, those who have left their countries because they are running away from war, and they are now living under tents. The man of God carried Christians to the book of Matthew, we say that God personally sent his son in flesh and blood to save mankind. As Christians celebrate the birth of Christ, they have been told to think of the needy and other vulnerable persons by showing them love. And if this is done, Christians are simply walking in accordance with the teachings of the Bible. Back to Yaoundé, Christ our Savior is born and today is December 25th. And most of the masses held today centered around the love and mercy that God has toward humankind. For more, Beatrice Ngamo tells us from Yaoundé. The feast this humility, birth of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ in a manger that Christians are celebrating this December 25th, Christmas Day. And there is no better way than thanking the Almighty for this love for mankind. What carried Christians in their numbers, young, and the old, male and female, 
mothers and fathers to the different house of God this day. A day of great joy indeed, celebrating life in and with our Messiah. A message of faith. I ask them to know that Jesus Christ who arrived in our life asks us to become person who build peace because peace is a value that all of us we need. The coming of Jesus Christ is to comfort mankind. But to celebrate the fact that the Lord our God came to the world to save mankind. Whether we accept him or whether we reject him. Christmas help Christians see the dignity in the child Jesus. This day should be like all the days of our lives, for Jesus Christ to find a resting place in our homes and hearts, commemorating hope, experience, and Christ's life in us, message echoed by the pastor of St. Eglis Church in Yaoundé. At the EEC Longkak, some faithfuls received the sacraments of the church, typical on Christmas Day. The Christians are now confident of God's trust, this with the engagement to contribute their own quote. As the world celebrates the birth of Jesus Christ, Christians have been called to be more tolerant. Kejang Henry was at the Union of Baptist Churches in Bonalembe, Aqua, and reports. The streets of Douala are dry and just a few humans can be perceived along some major boulevard. No business in Aqua, Douala's main business district. The usual traffic and human jams are absent, and just everybody is behind elevated walls for Christmas. Whilst cooking is going on in homes, some were in churches to praise God for the coming of Jesus, the Savior of mankind. In the Union of the Baptist Churches of Cameroon, Pastor Lobe Maka delivered a message of rebirth, of tolerance and brotherhood. Celebrated amid uncertainty and security concerns, Pastor Baka says you can build walls with barbed wires, high fences with all protective materials, but the only and surest protection will come from God. From Dola, we go back to the center region, precisely in the town of Obala, where Christians in that region have been urged to be God's friend and also to love God because God loves us. This was a statement or a sermon declared by Bishop Leopold Sosten Bayemi. For more, Beatrice Ngamo connects us from Obala. God's friendship was cemented during this 25th December breakthrough at the Alesi of Mount Carmel Cathedral, Obala, St. Vincent of Carmel Road. It is this friendship that God manifests through love by sending Jesus Christ as human to be born for our salvation. Because, because Jesus became man so that we should, every one of us, be a friend of God. The best answer we can give to God, you know, to his love for us is being his friends. A friendship which the faithfulness of Obala and environs were asked by the bishop, Leopold Sustain by me, to manifest by being... Generous it means praying. It means being faithful to the Holy Eucharist. It means being faithful to keep the commandments. It, it means also taking part in the life of church. The presence of many faithfuls for this Eucharistic celebration is to underline the fact that God wants us to be friends. The message of Christmas on the birth of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Christmas is a time to show love, generosity and kindness, extending wishes of goodwill to loved ones. I want to wish you Merry Christmas. I want to wish you Merry Christmas. I want to wish you Merry Christmas from the bottom of my heart. A simple and humble Christmas celebration at Dubala, like the birth of the Savior of the world, is what Christians need to borrow from Jesus, born with love, peace and comfort for mankind. Christian celebrations or Christmas celebrations here in Douala was also marked by baptism and confirmation at the Evangelical Church Nilong, where 25 Christians took the commitment to follow Christ this December. 
the man of God called on Christians to follow the footprint of Jesus Christ. Once again, D. Mori. 25 Christians have taken the commitment this is number 25 at the Banjun Evangelical Church in Douala to dedicate their lives to Christ. What are poured on their heads is a sign of God's acceptance and forgiveness, an occasion of these followers of Christ to give thanks to God. Being baptized on December 25 is being born again. This means that I have to change my attitude, the way I behave with people. I have to live in accordance with the Bible. The pastor in his homely drew inspiration from John 1.18, which says clearly that Christmas is a celebration of the birth of Christ. The more reason why people should go to church than other worldly places. The birth of Jesus has come with a lot of optimism. This means that we have hopes that things will change. We have hopes that the world will change. We have hopes that things will move the right direction. According to the pastor, we are not born Christians, but become one when we accept Christ. He advised Christians to follow the footprints of Jesus by always defending what is true and abstain from evil practices. He has well quoted verses from the Bible, which states that happy are the pure in hearts, for they will seek the kingdom of God. Christians at the Evangelical Church in Limbe turned out massively to celebrate the birth of Jesus Christ. They were called by the Reverend of the Evangelical Church to remain steadfast to God as Christmas symbolizes the victory of God over darkness. Christelle Catala has more. Christians in the Southwest region have been called to use the birth of Jesus Christ to remain steadfast to God as Christmas symbolizes the victory of light over darkness. At the Evangelical Church of Cameroon in Limbe, Christians and children turn out massively to give the Christmas feast the grandeur it deserves. We want to transfer to the faithful the grace of Jesus Christ. Because with Christmas, we don't live under the law, but we live by grace. And through the grace of God, we see the favor that the Creator has granted us. He who is supreme, He descended in our midst to testify His love to us. Prior to Christmas celebration, Sunday school children on the night of December 24th presented church, Bible verses, Songs and dance all in a bit to salute the birth of Jesus Christ, the Savior of mankind. Christmas celebration in churches here, like elsewhere, was marked by baptism. Tradition was respected this year again by the head of the Roman Catholic Church, Pope Francis. The Christmas Eve Mass was attended by thousands who came to listen to the Xmas message of Pope Francis. Pope Francis told Christians to be modest. More with Annette Effetti. During the traditional Christmas Eve Mass in the Vatican, Pope Francis told Christians to be sober. In front of some 10,000 Christians who answered present at the St. Peter Basilica in Rome, the sovereign pontiff said the birth of Christ is one of the most important Christian feasts. It is a moment for Christians to see a new way who they are. In a society full of lust, abundance and luxury, Jesus is calling on mankind to be sober. That is to be simple, balanced, coherent, capable of understanding and living on the essential. Pope Francis, in his capacity as the Bishop of Rome, denounced an egoistic society. This year, the Midnight Mass witnessed tight security. All Christians who attended were searched using the metal detector. Well, that was all we were able to put together on this holy day of Christmas. And on behalf of the entire team of Canal 2 English and the Canal 2 Media Group, have a nice weekend and once again, Merry Christmas. Until Monday, God willing.